I never introduced my girlfriends to my mom usually, um, but I introduced Alex really quickly. And my mom and her hit it off like so well. And the next day my mom called me and said, you should marry that woman. And for once in my life, I actually took my mom's advice. John is a really, really good man. Um, when John was dating me or courting me, I said, look, John, I love you, but what are we doing? <laughs> and he's like, we're doing everything that you want to do, Alexandria. We'll give you a family, marry you, and we're going to live the rest of our lives happy together. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and I said, okay, and we've been on an adventure since day one, and I wouldn't have it any other way. I love you, baby. Friends and family, we're assembled here in the sight of God and in the presence of all these witnesses to join together this man and this beautiful woman in holy matrimony. This is an honorable estate. It was instituted of God and the Apostle Paul said it's an honorable thing among all men and therefore it should be entered into not lightly but reverently, soberly, discreetly. The scripture set before us an example of how Christ's love for the church is how these two are loving each other. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. Love bears all things, hopes all things, endures all things, and in the end, love never ends. Do you, John Herbert Russell, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love and cherish, to have and to hold and forsaking all others, to keep yourself to her only so as long as you both shall live. I do. I do. <laughs> and do you, Alexandria Shante Ware, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband? I do. I do. <laughs> All right. This ring I give thee 
in token and pledge of our constant faith and abiding love. And these vessels are two separate glasses of sand, each representing your individual lives as you were. And as the sands flow together, social lives are now intertwined as one. Never again for you to be two separate souls, but now you're two souls operating as one. Now by the authority invested in me by Almighty God, I can now declare you husband and wife. And John, you may yes, salute your bride. I say like the judge told me, you the daddy. <laughs> but what I really want to say to John and Alex, happy wife, happy life. Toast to John and Alex. No matter what go on around you, you keep your hands in God's hand and everything gonna be all right. And I love you both. And back many years ago when John and Alex were first starting to date, Alex was going out of the country and was away going to school. And every time Alex went out of town, John stopped kind of taking care of himself. But when Alex would come back into town, he'd be happy again, and he'd start eating right, and he'd start working out. And there's actually a picture on Susie's wall from a New Orleans trip, and I have never seen John happier. And what I love most about Alex and John is everything about them is a real love. It is a natural connection. Whenever I'm anywhere around them, I peek over at them and they're always staring at each other. We bring before you this day, O oh righteous God, this wonderful couple. And even as we realize, O oh God, that they've stepped into a life of oneness, where two lives have become one, we wish, O oh God, and we ask and invoke you that by your spirit, you will guide them in every step of the way.